Playmaker, the person who had it since the beginning of the game. Like, I didn't create my build for my player build for my legend two way slashing playmaker that can do absolutely everything. He plays the best defense possible. He can shoot well. I can mash. I could dribble. My player can literally do absolutely everything you can think of. good youtube man we back with another nba 2k 25 video man about a thumbnail and a title i know exactly why y'all here man we made one of the most popular builds in 2k history man the 2k 20 two-way slasher and playmaker man if you play nba 2k 20 man you already know how this build was man i don't really have to do too much talking man or too much explaining about the two-way slasher playmaker man on 2k 20 about everybody went back to make this build when they seen how easy the shooting was. But I know y'all probably thinking like, bro, the shooting on this game ain't ain't like 2K20, bro. It ain't consistent and easier like 2K20, man. But if you think about how this game played, man, a 2K20 build would probably go crazy on this game, bro. But due to the simple fact, if shooting is inconsistent, why go a super high three if people with 99 three can't hit a shot? Why not go 75, 76 how the two-way slasher playmaker on 20 did? Feel me? So, man, what I did, man, I went, I made the bill. I got my bill upgraded to a 90. This is the 6-6 two-way slasher playmaker bill. But I think they was like 6-5 or 6-6. Six, six. I can't really remember. But I know they wasn't guard heights, though. They was for sure taller than guards, bro. And every time they get to the paint, they do a hop step one, two, and go straight up with it every time. So... I made the exact same build or something similar to that build or the same play style. Uh, I'm going to show y'all the build and I'm going to show y'all the way I made mine. So I made mine a little bit different because I feel like I kind of got dribbling down packed with a lower dribble. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to show y'all how to make the two-way slash and playmaker man from 2K20. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe to this video. Make sure y'all like and share this to a friend that, that wants or needs a build like this. Like if you feel like you got a friend that need a build like this, man. And he play yo, he yo guard or he yo ISO, you know what I'm saying? He yo ISO player and you the center. Send it to him, man, because this is a tough field. Um, so first things first, if you want to go point guard 6-6, six, six, you can um to be at the point guard. But me, uh, I really like being at the at the two or the three uh while being 6-6. Six, six. Uh so just go ahead and go shooting guard 6-6, six, six, man. Go lowest weight. You want to have the lowest weight possible, man, for the most speed. Go one tick down. I'm gonna tell y'all why at the, at the like in the middle of me making this build why I did that. Boom. First things first, man. Um, uh, I already got like 150 hours on this game within two weeks, bro. I've been really hawking this game, man. And 93 dropping dunk is really really good for you to dunk stick in the lane and get contact dunks and make wide open uh dunk sticks very very easy. Long as you got these two stats right here, the 80 vert with the 93 driver dunk, bro, you will be able to get contact dunks and you will be able to dunk stick in the lane if you got the wide open lane or even if somebody is on you, bro, you still might get a good contact dunk animation. Boom. Next thing, next, uh, next thing, man, that you want to do, uh, speed, right? Speed and agility is super important in this game. So we want to make sure that we got, we going to do the speed. But first, bro, we want to make sure we do the defense. A two-way slasher playmaker isn't a two-way slasher playmaker without defense, bro. So you want to make sure that you have at least an 85. At least, not 85, at least a, a 78 and a 75 interior defense. Because uh, those are important on a two-way slasher playmaker. Being able to stop guards and being able to stop, like, like tall point guard builds like 6'7", 6 6'8", 6 6 6 6 That's very important. Um... And I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what I did with my build uh, after I, after we get done with this build. And I went 92, and then I went with the 85 um, steel. These are my defensive stats right here uh, for a two-way slasher playmaker. You still get interceptor. You get glove, glove. 
if you know the ceiling on this game is super duper crazy bro and it's gonna be even crazier once you make your when you make your speed and agility the way that you need to do it so i went 85 speed bro because 85 speed and 90 low key feel the same i just went with a higher agility which is a 90. this is what i went with this exact stats right here these are exact stats make sure you just copy these stats bro. this is exactly the stuff the things that i have went with my build um remember when i said i went one tick down on my wingspan the reason why i did that bro is because I wanted to get a uh, set shot specialist gold. I shoot very good with set shot specialist silver uh, on my 6.9. And on my 6.7, I got set shot specialist silver. He do shoot way better with the silver. And then once you get level once you get level 30 in the season, bro, you get to cheer up a badge. So you will get this on Hall of Fame, bro. You will get this on Hall of Fame. If you know two-way slash and playmakers on 2K20 had like a 64-3, but we're not going to do that, though, because you know how unconsistent this game is. Even if you wanted to go 64-3 and you want to be a slasher, slashing type of build, you could do this right here. You only need a 95, and you'll have more stats to upgrade other things, right? Boom. I'm going, I think, 75, round 75, 76 is good for this build, bro. But I went 80. I went 80 because I'm knowing how the shooting is, and I kind of want it to be more of a threat. But if you really want the original two-way slash playmaker build, man, they literally have lower three than they have everything else. Like, they three is literally super duper low because they're literally like a slash shoot. If you want to go like 73, 74, up in that range, bro, you can still shoot because you're going to get set shot specials on Hall of Fame. So you're going to be able to knock down shots on the ISO and off the catch and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Do you want to make sure you go um, 75? 75 ball handling and now we just hold on we gotta get we gotta get 70 uh we gotta get 75 bro we gotta get 75 bro oh this is the original two-way slash and playmaker build right here this build got a lot of defense shooting this is low but once you get this set shot special on hall of fame bro you will be able to knock down shots on the iso Especially if you want to hit the 1v1 or you play a 2v2 and a 3v3 with lockdowns, like people can get you stops. Shooting is not going to be a problem. Shooting is not going to be a problem. You're going to be able to knock down shots, especially with that Hall of Fame when I said when she reached up 30. Even just having this on go, you're going to be able to knock down shots. Uh, then you're going to be able to stop your opponents. Think about this too. You're going to be able to stop your opponents. Most important on this game, defense is more important. That's what really made me go with the two-way slash playmaker because defense is more important on this game than shooting. Shooting is inconsistent anyways. You know what I'm saying? So why go a high three if people with a 99 three can't really shoot over 50%? If everybody's shooting 40%, why go with a higher three? So this is the build that um that is tough, but I'm gonna show y'all what I went with and my build, and then I'm gonna go load up and show y'all my build just so y'all don't think I gave y'all any type of build. Um, I went with an 80 ball handling due to the simple fact I understand this game and I know how to dribble with an 80 and a 75 because of my 6'9. And then I went with the uh with the 83. That's what this is. This is what I went with. So if you want to do this and had a lower and had a lower um ball handling, not the 75 ball handling, that is cool too. But this is what this is what I went with. This is the two-way slash and playmaking build for 2K uh from 2K20. Um, let me go back and load mines up, man, and show y'all my badges and everything that I get different from my other builds. So I'm going to load up my two-way two -way slash and playmaker build. Boom, we're going to load them up. We should still be in the mock court. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the stats real quick of everything I put on him. Um, as y'all can see, we're going to go to the badges. We're going to go to the attributes first. I went, like I said, I went 93 Duncan, 80 shooting, 89 midi. Uh, 80 ball handling, 75 speed with ball. Uh, y'all is going. If y'all want to see gameplay on this build, make sure y'all subscribe. I will be dropping gameplay on this build tomorrow. Um, he got the, you know, he got the the hot, the 85 steel, 77 interior, 70, uh, 78 block, 92 perimeter. You know what I'm saying? He got uh all this right here, man. All this stuff right here, man. If y'all want to make this exact exact build, man, y'all can just copy the second one that I had made down. Now let me go to the badges. This right here really makes a big difference from this build compared to all my other builds, bro. Um, and the defense, bro. 
these defensive badges that he get is silver, bro. He gets silver paint patroller and he gets silver high flying. And I really can go high flying gold if I wanted to change this right here to gold. I can get that on gold, but I'd rather have both of them on silver rather than one of them on gold. So I could be good at both. Feel me? Um, this is the build, man. If y'all want to copy all this down, man, this build go crazy. I will be dropping gameplay on this build tomorrow because y'all probably thinking like, can this build dribble? If you've been subscribing to my YouTube, man, my 6'9 that I have been playing with, man, the 6'9 that I have been playing with, this is the, the same drill move that he got on my 6'9. So I just copy all my 6'9 6 and, and put it on a 6'6. Six, six. That's really it, man. It, this, this really going to be the build that I'm be playing with, man, majority of the year. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all for coming out. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that like button, man. I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next video, man. Let's go.